Now we're ready to start sewing. I have my left my pins in and I'm going to start here. And I'm going to do a secure back stitch. So I'm going to sew forward a couple of stitches and I'm going to reverse a couple of stitches. And that's going to give me a secure start and finish. I'm going to sew to the corner and I'm going to make sure the needle is down. I'm going to lift my presser foot, turn my fabric, drop my presser foot and continue sewing. I'm sorry for the shine. I don't think there's much I can do uh, on my... And then continue sewing all the way around. Take out your pins as you go along. Sewing over pins blunts your needles, can damage your feed dog, and it can be a costly exercise. I'll just bring the camera down now as I come to a corner here. So just excuse me now, let me just get the camera in close here if we can. Okay, there's still a light on that. I'm coming up to my corner. My needle is down. Lift my presser foot. Turn my fabric and with the needle down, the fabric stays in place. So that's really important. It means it stays in place and you can continue sewing. right the way across. I'm now at the bottom of my outer bag. Again I've come to my next corner. My needle is down. I lift. I'm just able to swivel the fabric around and it stays in place. And off we go up the next side. Remembering to take the pins out as you go along. And with my pencil line, or if you have your pencil line to mark, it's going to be very easy to keep nice straight lines in your sewing. And my last corner now, I'm coming up to my last corner. Again, needle down, press her foot up, swivel the fabric around, press her foot down. And I'm now at my final mark, a reverse stitch again. And that's my pieces, my bag sewn all the way around. Now, the next thing I want to do, let me just move the camera back again. Just to help the corners keep shape, I'm just going to clip the corners, take a little triangle off each corner. Do not cut to the stitching. Just ahead of the stitching, it just helps the corners when you turn the bag through to sit flat. Now put your hand or two fingers into that opening, go all the way down the bag and catch the end and pull it through. Just gently pull it through, pull out the corners on the lining, pull out the corners on the outer part of the bag. When you're happy with that, you need now to stitch the lining, the hole that you opened for the lining. If you want to make your bag reversible, we'll do what's called, you do what's called a little ladder stitch, which catches the edges and it's invisible. If you're not too fussy, if you say, no, I'm just going to have the, I'm not going to have it uh, reversible. You can just do a nice little neat, small, very, very close to the edge row of um, machining or little running stitches. Or you could do a little whip stitch on the top of that there. So if you look up a little ladder stitch, that gives you a lovely invisible little finish. We we'll pretend my I've stitched that up. Now what I do is put the lining inside. 
my outer bag. Pull out the corners. And you give that a nice little press so that the edges are nice and flat. <coughs> and what I like to do around the edge here is a little bit of top stitching just to hold everything in place. So again, I would place a couple of pins around the outside edge like that. And this is an opportunity if you have on your machine a nice zigzag or a fancy stitch and we just machine around the whole edge of the casing there and that will give it a nice finish. So I'm going to do that and come back to you in a moment.